The Phoenix of Persia is a powerful new retelling of an ancient Persian legend. The book comes with a resource box for schools to borrow and an original musical composition performed by musicians at City University. Well, I'm Lada Nushin. I teach here in the music department at City University um, and I've been researching Iranian music for uh, several decades now. I guess I'm the initiator of this project. My name is Susan Lolovar um, and I'm a composer, also a PhD researcher here at City. I work with Lardan partly on research into Iranian music. So I've then been the kind of creative director on this project for the last few months. And it's been really exciting. It's been really great to work with um, a wonderful group of musicians and also with Sally Pong Clayton and developing this story. And it's been a kind of living, organic project for a really long time. For this project we particularly wanted to have the sounds of Iranian instruments kind of forefronted. But quite early on we decided that maybe one way of going forward was to work in a more kind of improvisational compositional way which is quite uh, suitable really to Iranian music um, and get the musicians involved in developing their own ideas and when we started we had no idea what was going to come out of this process. It was a bit of a risk actually. Um, but because the musicians are so proficient and creative and uh, used to improvising, it actually um, turned out very nicely. I mean, it was really exciting to and, and a real treat actually to have that much development time to produce something really unique. And the book is something that I'm, I'm so proud to be in any way connected to this. I would have loved this to exist when I was a child, um, to be able to read um, a story that also had music in it that, in, that was talking about my Iranian heritage in a way that is exciting and new and fantastical and, and has kind of um, this really, um, yeah, th like a really beautiful story that takes you to a really kind of exciting and different world. If I had that as a child, I think that would have been wonderful and I hope that the children who read it will develop a kind of relationship with Iran for that reason.